Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. Thanks very much for joining me again for another video. This is a Friday Sews video, so as always a huge thank you to Jen from Today in Jen Suriname for setting up this fabulous hashtag where all us sewing vloggers can come together on Friday to talk about what we've been getting up to in our life, what we've been sewing in the previous week and what we plan to sew in the week ahead. So thank you as always to everybody who's watched any of my previous videos and thank you so 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 much for all the love you gave on my Zog costume that I made for my uh, older boy last week for World Book Day. So I'll pop another picture of the Zog costume here. It was so much fun to make. He absolutely loved it and thank you so much for all the lovely feedback on that. It was really really good fun to make but I'm glad that's done for another year. Thank goodness and I'll get myself mobilised much earlier next year instead of sewing that last minute dot com. But it was really good fun so thank you very very much for that. If you are new to my channel then you're very very welcome and if you are a regular viewer and subscriber then welcome back. I hope you're all well and um, I hope you're all doing some lovely sewing in the past week. So I've had a lovely week. Um, here in Ireland it was Mother's Day last weekend which was lovely so I had a lovely lovely weekend with my little boys and with my husband. We took the boys to the cinema which is really good fun. We saw the Jungle Bunch and they absolutely loved it. Uh, then on Sunday, yes, I had a lovely day. I was given cards, everything, the whole nine yards. And then I was also treated to a little bottle of fizz, which came in very nicely because on Sunday evening, I got to do some very, very lovely sewing. So I'm calling it Fizzy with Izzy because I followed along to the lovely Izzy from Dizzy Quilt and Sews. She put out her block three of the Quilt As You Go series that she's doing on YouTube. Absolutely fabulous. So I've now done all three blocks. Uh, this was the first one, then this was the second one, and then my glass of fizzy with Izzy is this one that I got done on Sunday, so it was really good fun. So this is a maple leaf pattern. It's quite tricky to see in this fabric, but you can kind of see the, the leaf here in the stalk. So um, if you go to Izzy's channel, you'll see her beautiful one in kind of a blue, and you can see the, the picture um, much, much clearer. But this one I thought was really cute because it's um, Peter Rabbit Fat Quarters that I got from Aldi, I think last year. And my boys have discovered that Peter Rabbit was on TV last weekend and watched it for the whole weekend. So I that this was really really appropriate for them and I just think it's super cute so all three blocks done for Izzy's Quilt As You Go series so I cannot wait for the next one which will be out in another three weeks I believe so thank you as always Izzy for that fabulous fabulous tutorial and so long it's absolutely brilliant if you are in any way um thinking of starting on your little quilting journey which I'm wholly into now if you watch my channel you know that I'm fully down that rabbit hole uh, this series is fabulous Izzy has a fabulous way of explaining everything I've learned so much and it's a lovely 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 pace of video as well so really great you can almost do it in real time alongside Izzy so that was my weekend then to carry on my quilting theme I will put chapters and all this below if you want to skip ahead of all this um, I went to my quilting class so that was week eight week eight of ten so we got started on our sashing so I've now finished all my nine blocks I've trimmed them and they're all more or less the same size and then I got my sashing done so I'm not going to stand back I can't wait to do that roly thing with the quilt when it's finished so exciting so this is what it looks like so you can see all my blocks here hopefully you get an idea of what that looks like. So it's actually an awful lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I just put on the white sashing here and these little um, corner pieces here on each one, just the same fabric. I'm now fully out of this fabric. I think I bought half a metre of each of this fabric and then a bit of the white fabric, but I'm fully out of it now. So very happy with how this is coming together. Um, next week, so next week we don't have it last because it is Patrick's Day this weekend. Sorry, as I pull my chair forward again. Um, so we don't have a class next week, so I need to buy some more fabric because the week after, which is our week nine, we're going to be doing the border. So I'd like to get some nice, um, maybe greeny fabric to go along the border. And the teacher mentioned about mitering the corners of the border. So of course I went on YouTube to figure out how to do that. I found a fabulous video from the Fat Quarter Shop, which I was recently recommended by somebody on here. So thank you so much. It's fabulous. And she has a wonderful video about how to mitre the corners, which to give that lovely diagonal line as opposed to just one block here and one block there. It gives a really, really nice finish. So I'm very keen to give that a go. Then the only thing left after that then is going to be the wadding, the quilting, the backing and the binding. But I don't think I'll be at the last class. 
So we'll see how it goes. Mr. French seems I think is going to be away. So I'm, I think I might have to miss the last class. But if I can talk to the teacher and she can talk me through what I can do, then hopefully I'll be able to get that done at home. So that is my quilting class, which I am loving, 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 loving. So I would recommend anybody to go to these adult education classes. They're really, really good. I'm getting such benefit out of the class. It's just great. So that's my quilting update. Uh, to give you a crochet update, so I'm having so much fun at this, I've decided to make my little crochet daisies into a little cardigan, a little kind of house coat or a bed jacket, as my granny used to call it. So I started. So here we go, if I pop it on. So it's going to be a little bit like this. So it's going to be a kind of a sleeveless thing because I don't have too many squares and I've learned how to do ribbing in crochet. So I'm going to do a little bit of ribbing here and then I'm going to join the sides here. If I can reach around to these bits here and just finish it off. And I think it's just really cute. It's lovely spring colours, matches my jumper today. Um, so yeah, this is my crochet update. Have I got it inside out? I do. Oh dear, seeing all my loose ends. Here we go. Put it around this way instead. That's a little bit neater. There we go. So I think it's super cute. This is my crochet update. Um, I should mention actually what I'm wearing today. This is a relatively recent make. It's the Nest Sweatshirt by So Liberated. I absolutely love this pattern. This is my second one and this is Beautiful French Terry from Driesenstoffen, the same one that I made my Heart Valentine's Day sweatshirt out of and I just had scraps left over and I was so keen to use them. So if I stand up and give you a twirl, so this is what it looks like. It's got the little pieced front, the sawtooth star, and you can see this blue, and then I've also got the blue on the back, just to use up all my French terry scraps, but I just love how this came out. I love the little little rainbow in the middle, so it's a very kind of spring colour, uh, she said, looking at the window, at the wind and the rain, but never mind. Uh, so that's what I'm wearing today, and I absolutely love it. Uh, so what else? Moving on to my sewing. So, did I get my pogo nip done? No. I did not. So I've still got it all cut out. We'll move that to next week, shall we? So what I did do this week was bags, bags, bags. So I mentioned last week that I would like to make a little coin purse. So if I haven't mentioned, I'm going to Stitch Festival next Friday, just if I haven't mentioned it on here for anybody. <laughs> and I was going to make a few little bits and pieces to bring. Now that I've finished all my outfits to bring, because I've got my fringe dress here, and I've got my lotta dress here. So there, that's what I'm wearing for the weekend. Um, I also have my max tee, which I'll show you now in two seconds because there's a reason for that. But I wanted to make a little purse. So I keep relatively within budget. So, so here's the little purse I made. So I found a free pattern. So it's got a zip at the front and it's got a zip at the back and a little tab here. So we have to do that thing where we prove the zip works, don't we? So, and I just had this fabric in my cotton stash and then the lining is um, really fun, kind of a sciency print, it's really cute. And then I found a little bead and then I also have these really cute little letter. I don't know, can you see the little letters? So I put my name on that. So I thought that would be going to be cute. Caveat. So this pattern, I love how it came out. The instructions, they assume a certain level of knowledge. So just be warned. Um, so for instance, these little tabs here on the side of the zips, it basically just says insert zip tabs. There's a load of loose threads in this. Oops. Um, so it just says insert zip tabs. I think it says in your preferred method. So if you've never done zip tabs, you probably won't have a preferred method and you prefer to be walked through it. But um, I was able to put those in just because I'd done zip tabs on a previous make. Um, so it does assume a certain level of knowledge. I was a bit confused then by the instructions because I put it all together and then I realised that there was no lining on this. So it just looked at the back of the lining and the inside. So I don't know, but I think there's actually a pattern piece missing on the instructions. So I quickly cut out an inside lining for this. So I knew where I wanted this to go and I just kind of cobbled it then towards the end to get there. So it's not the best pattern, but now that I know what to do, I probably will use it again just because it comes out really cute. And this would be great for something like um, a gift in November where you make little prezzies for people just before Christmas. So I think it'd be cute for that. But yeah, the, the pattern is a little bit tricky. So just be warned. So if you are thinking of making something like this, just forewarned is forearmed. But I do like how it came out. and I love the little colours and I think it's really cute with the little name and stuff. So that was my little, uh, my first little crafty make. The second thing I got made up was, um, as well for Stitch Festival. So this is my Max T. There's threads 
everywhere. Uh, this is my max tape that I'm going to put on over my dresses. I never showed you the binding on this actually, binding orange on, in the inside. Um, because I was so traumatized by Zog, I thought I better put it a little reminder. Um, so this is my max tea that I'm going to wear over my dresses if it gets a bit cold. And I had a load of this fabric left over because I bought 90 centimeters of this and I had so much left over after making the max tea. It's the most economical use of fabric, this pattern. It's fabulous. This is a uh, Chuck and notch, I'll link it below. It's fabulous, it's my second one. I wanted to make a little bag with the leftovers. So I know you probably shouldn't make bags out of Jacquard jersey, but if you interface it enough, you'll be absolutely fine. So what I did was I made the Adam Sews hipster pitch, which I've made before and I love, and this is how it came out. So it matches my max tee perfectly, being the same fabric. And I'm just so pleased. My sewing machine is now not at all talking to me after last week with Zog and after this week trying to quilt jersey and layers of foam. It's just having a time out. It's going in a spa break weekend. It really is. And no jury in the world would convict it. But this is the bag. So Adam Sew's pattern. It's fabulous. So it's got the little tab to the side. Obviously I had to use flamingos. It's got a lovely zip at the top, a lovely zip at the front. So this front bit isn't quilted, but I just interfaced it within an inch of its life and it's got little uh, flamingos on the inside, but then this bit is quilted. Similarly, all this bit is quilted and the, the top bit here, which gives a lovely, lovely effect. Thought it'd be nice to put in a label here that says you can't buy this. I think this is from my Kylie and Machine Christmas bubble. Um, and then the inside, um, I love these zips, actually got them recently from Amazon, they're really great. The inside is lined with flamingos and it's bound in rainbows because why not? So very happy with how this came out. It was a journey. My shoulders were aching after it from holding four pieces of foam and everything under the poor sewing machine. But I just love, love, love how it came out. And this, um, uh, what, um, not wadding, webbing is really great. This is from the fabric counter. I think it matches perfectly. It's absolutely beautiful kind of glittery one. So this will be my little bag and my little purse fits very neatly inside and my phone fits perfectly in here, which is wonderful. So this is my little bag. So delighted with this. The next little bag I made. So I've made the, I'm sure as you're all aware, uh, the lovely Sam from So Let's Spark with Sam. Love her channel, love her tutorials and cannot wait to meet her next week. Um, she has a tutorial that she did during Vlogmas for a fold up tote and I had made one um, earlier in the year I think and I was with my mum and I whipped out my little fold up tote and she went, oh did you make that? And I said yeah, yes I did and she was like oh okay and just kind of left it so I was like maybe she'd like one too. So I set about making her one and it was so funny because I was watching um, uh, Claire from Stitch and Sew, who I'm also meeting the weekend. Yay! Um, so she was making one for her mum and I was watching it going, oh, I'm making it for my mum. So I think this is a very mother-friendly pattern. It's fabulous. So here's a little uh, fold-up tote that I made my mum. So I've put a little Made With Love label here that I that um, Agatha gave me from In Agatha's Cottage. Thank you very, very much. So the little top is little bees and flowers. This is a fat quarter I got recently in Trimmings, which is a shop here in Dublin. And then it's got the little snap and then you roll it all out and it's a fabulous tote bag. So, and it fits loads. This webbing I've had for a good long while. I'd leftovers of it. I think I got this from Quilture and Stitch. And then this fabric is from the fabric counter that I got recently when I went to get my Zog fabric. And I think it's really pretty, it's beautiful to work with. And Claire was so right, your second one comes out so much better. It's like the second pancake, as she says. So this is the tote. So then you can snap this closed here. There's another popper here, but then this also becomes a little pocket on the inside. And I was so extra with this. You know, when you're making things for somebody else and especially for your mother. I had yellow bobbin thread here and then as soon as I got to here I switched to white bobbin thread. Everything. So I'm so pleased with how this came out. Um, I whipped this up last night. It did not take long. You can basically do it in real time with Sam so long and it's got a lovely boxed out bottom and then you, that's the back of it, and then you fold it all up again and it becomes a nice little fold up tote that you can easily put in your handbag. I made one as I said earlier in the year and I use it all the time to say I use it all the time it's fabulous so very messily done but you get the idea so then you fold it up like this again so hopefully she'll enjoy that so they were my three bags this weekend which I really really enjoyed making so no garment sewing but I did enjoy making those little things um, so that was my week. Hi everyone, editing Rachel here. So I was happily going about my day and the doorbell went and there was a huge big squashy parcel for me. So I thought, I don't think I ordered any fabric, did I? So opened it up and it was the most glorious 
parcel. So there is a very, very lovely lady called Anne who I chat to quite a bit on Instagram and here on YouTube and she sent me a parcel. So I couldn't believe it. Blown away, so grateful. This parcel is just marvelous. Wait till I show you what's in it. So first of all is a pattern on A0, which is Pattern Union Sumeco dress, which looks really like a really pretty summer dress. That's all printed on A0. Then a lovely bundle of cotton fabric. So little bunnies uh, or little pre-cuts like this. Uh, this really cool space one. I think we all know who'd like that one. Uh, this one with teddies and cars. And then this gorgeous one with uh, little birds on it. Love those. And then this one is my favorite. This is a cotton poplin egg, I think it was labeled, and it's bees and strawberries. It's a cotton poplin, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a little bundle of cotton fabrics. Then this little um, piece of blue spotty ribbon, which is gorgeous. And then these, which are just magnificent. So look at these, it's like a trim, but they're gold bees. I mean, how beautiful is that? Then there was Ethel and Joan buttons. I can't wait to see Ethel and Joan now at the Stitch Festival. So aren't these just gorgeous? Then there was this, which is really, really cool. It's like you cut out your own labels. So this little sheet, and there's things like, apologies if you can hear the oven, um, made by me, handmade with care, stitched with love. I think you can kind of cut these out maybe with pinking shears and sew them to things, which are lovely. Then also there was two pieces of cotton jersey fabric and my boys are going to love these. So this one, they're all labeled, just fabulous. Um, monkeying around so this is a uh, cotton jersey with little monkeys my younger boy is going to love this uh, this is 59 by one meter so plenty to get him something out of that one and then this one which the boys are going to just adore it's a fabric mama and it's little bunnies and it's cotton jersey and it is just fabulous so i'm going to be able to make uh, the matching jumpers for easter out of this so can you believe this parcel that just arrived out of the blue today after i picked myself off the floor wiped my eyes because it was just a, such a gorgeous gorgeous gesture she basically said she was having a clear out and she thought i might like them and i adore them thank you so much and they've gone to such a good home i will use and love all of these things thank you so 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 much oh my goodness just blown away by this gorgeous parcel so thank you so 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 much and now i'll hand you back over to me again um so plans for next week so it is patrick's weekend in ireland this weekend so we have a lovely bank holiday on monday which is great my parents are coming to stay with us which is lovely so i haven't seen them in a few weeks so hence a little panic to get my mum's bag done they're staying with us so it usually rains on Patrick's Day, so I'm hoping it doesn't so we can get out and about and do nice things at the weekend with the boys. Um, then I wonder, will I get my pogo nip done next week? I'm not quite sure. So here it is to prove that it is all cut out, all interfaced, everything. However, we are getting work done on the upstairs of our house. And so uh, we need to kind of clear up everything. And I think my sewing room is going to be out of commission. However, it does mean that it's finally going to get done up. So this will finally go this will finally go. So I've chosen um, Christmas wreath from Colour Trend and I've chosen Powder Room from Dulux and it's going to be a mishmash of these two kind of pinky green colours and kind of geometric-y shapes is what I have in my head. So that's going to get done. Uh, so it's going to get all redone. I'm getting a new proper desk and um, clearing out some stuff I don't need, getting all shelving up here. My pegboard, which is there, is going to be moving to here. It's going to get a whole new spruce up. So I can't wait. And for the people who keep looking at this monstrosity, I'm sorry, this, this is now almost two years old and it just needs to get done. So I'm really excited. However, it does mean that my sewing room is going to be out of commission, but them's the breaks. And I'll be super excited to have this room all spruced up. It's going to be really, really great. Um, so that's, so I probably won't get a huge amount of sewing done this week, although I will, I'll probably end up moving my sewing machine to the attic and try and do a bit of there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, oh, the one thing I do need to get done this weekend and before Sunday, um, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me, coughing again. Um, I do have a Patrick's Day t-shirt for younger French seams because he's wearing the t-shirt that older French seams used to wear. However, older French seams now doesn't have a Patrick's Day t-shirt. So I found leftover white and orange fleece from Zog and I found leftover, um, I think I made a Whistler sweatshirt on, on this. It's um, brushback French terry, but it's perfect. So these are going to be a little Patrick's Day, in case you Ooh, excuse me, in case you can't guess the theme here, they're going to be some form of Patrick's Day t-shirt for older French seams if I get that whipped up super quick over the next few days ahead of Patrick's Day. 
so they are my plans um I'm flying to Stitch Festival on Friday, just to kind of mention that again. So hoping to meet up with lovely people. I've been looking at the stalls, marking out which ones I'd like to go see. There's a couple of catwalks. There's a brilliant kind of Tilly in the Buttons 10 year thing that I'd like to go and see. There's sewing bee contestants are doing something. So cannot wait. So I've got tickets for Friday, tickets for Saturday. Please let me know in the comments below if you are going. I know some of you have. So thank you so much. And I really hope I can meet up with as many people as possible. So super excited. I also get to spend the weekend with my sister, which is lovely. And so yeah, just really, really looking forward to it. So I won't have Friday shows out next week uh, because I'll be away, but I will be sharing stuff um, as I go on my Instagram account, which is the French Seams. I'll link that below if you don't follow me over there already. Um, but then I think I'll be back the week after with a little recap, hopefully, hopefully uh, all going well of how I got on with Stitch Festival and whether I made a few little purchases, which I probably will. So I think I will leave it there for now. Thank you very, very much as always for joining me. If you like this video, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and I would love it also if you would consider subscribing. Um, I hope you're all having a lovely, lovely week. I hope you're getting time for some lovely, lovely sewing. If you'd like to leave me a comment in the box below, um, as always, I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you're sewing, if you have any questions on anything that I've got sewn up here. Um, but I hope you all have a lovely, lovely weekend. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day, La Ella Podrick to all my Irish followers. And I will catch you all again very, very soon in another video. Take care, everyone. Bye.